Donald Trump loses frequently in court. That shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that follows American politics. Nonetheless, it's rare that Donald Trump loses in court twice on the same day. And yet that's exactly what happened earlier this week. Two cases, two judges absolutely hammered Donald Trump and those around him. One in a very direct way and another in a way that tears down a central Trump narrative in a way we haven't seen quite yet. So the first one is that Donald Trump and by extension his lawyer lost a really important case around attorney client privilege. His lawyer John Eastman, the coup memo lawyer, was trying to argue that none of his documents should be accessible to the J6 committee because they're all covered under attorney client privilege with Donald Trump. Trump, and yet he lost that case and now there will be a review of his files to determine if they can be explored. That's a massive defeat because the hope for Trump and Eastman was that there would be a total blocking of the files and that hasn't happened. It says here, United States District Judge for the Central District of California, David Carter on Wednesday said he would review Eastman's emails to determine the validity of his attorney client privilege claims about his interactions with former President Donald Trump. Quote, the circumstances of this case fail a review of the emails. In part due to the party's cooperation to exclude extraneous emails, there are only 111 challenge documents between January 4 and 7, 2021. As the court has previously noted, the evidence suggests that the communications from those days are essential to the select committee's pressing investigation. What they're saying is that yes, the committee is more than reasonable to ask for these particular 111 documents. We're going to double check them and if they're clean, they're going to the committee. So this is a massive blow. And as some analysts have noted, the judge was also hinting that he's sympathetic to the idea that because this is like a criminal thing, that because Donald Trump and John Eastman, according to the January 6th committee, likely committed crimes, there may be a broader blow to their executive privilege claims. That's a massive defeat for Eastman and Trump. And it carried over into an argument against one of the Capitol rioters who tried to make the case and whose lawyer tried to make the case like Donald Trump and so many others have that all of the J6 people are being thrown away because they're political prisoners of the liberal justice system. That's one of Donald Trump's main arguments. You've heard him make that argument on stages and on social media and wherever he can on Fox News. And the judge called that delusional. He says some members of the public and even a few members of Congress retain the impression that peaceful political protests are being held in jail pending trial, wrote Lambeth, an appointee of President Ronald Reagan. Neef's detention disproves this delusion. Neef is detained not because of his beliefs, but because of his alleged violent actions and his expressed intent to engage in violent activity again. And so this is another big defeat for Trump and Green and Boebert, who opt at the top of their lungs from the top of the mountain have been saying, our people are being locked away by liberal judges and they're throwing away the key and it's not fair and it's a sign that the system is rigged against conservatives who peacefully protested on J6 and the judge called that in very polite terms BS. So whether it's a direct case around Trump's lawyer and his attorney client privilege or whether it's an indirect case of Donald Trump's central J6 narrative, he got smacked across the face in court and that's great to see.